Hello everyone, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do an update on what I've been working on like since mid-March, I think was my last update. And also talk about Stitch Mania, yay! Cause I'm not doing new starts. So what am I gonna do for Stitch Mania when normally you start all the things for Stitch Mania? I'm gonna start off talking about what I've been working on and I only worked on like four projects in the last month-ish, I think, and I don't know why. I, I've just been working on one project a lot. I want to get it done. We will talk about that when I get to it. The first thing I'll talk about though is the project that I worked on the least amount and I only really worked on it for Magical Stitches uh, homework and extra credit when it fit. And that is Pinocchio Wishes Upon a Star by MCG Textiles. Not my favorite kit, but it's, it's bearable. I've been like surviving working on it. I have not thrown it away, thrown it against a wall. I have not went mad stitching it but uh i decided i wanted to work my way across the top this is gonna be like a sunsetty sky pinky colors i like those colors and i worked over to the corner of the page and then my plan is to work my way down so that hopefully hopefully these things meet up you know hopefully i didn't miscount somewhere and that is where i got to on that i hope that i can just keep sticking it into the um homework and extra credit things and hopefully make more prog progress on this throughout the year. Get it done so I don't have to look at it anymore. And the next thing that I have worked on is, we'll go with this one, I'll just randomly grab things. It is Super Size Max Color Eternal Promise by Matt Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I'm working on page two and I worked on this for homework, at least one homework, maybe two homework assignments, I'm not sure. And that is where I got to. It's just, there is going to be a lot of pages of just this border before I get to actual like main design. A lot. So be prepared for just like lots of like little gray background with some swirly looking flowers. I'm stitching this on the 28 count easy count to no one over one full cross I am not doing 10 stitch on this it's the first thing where it's the first piece on 28 count where I decided not to do 10 stitch I like it it's going good I miss loop start though that's all I have to say it's loop start it's loop start on everything if you hear any loud noises kids are playing loudly playing warning so the next thing that I have to show, and I'm pretty excited about where I got to on this, is the Toy Box by Donna Gelsinger, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Of course, I have lots of Heaven and Earth Design charts. And I was working on this page here. It was page 15 of the chart. It's page 17 that I finished though, because there's two pages I worked on down here. And I finished that page, which was exciting because there was so much confetti and like the bunny and the bucket and there's a shovel there. All the confetti was in that page. But it's done! And I have seven pages left on this chart. Seven! Whew, there's three more pages in this row and then there's four pages in this bottom row, which is like a little bit shorter than a full page. So that is exciting! I might actually finish this one day finish something? What? Who am I? So the thing that I worked on the most though, which if you are on Instagram, you have seen it, is my favorite chart right now. And that is Death by Cross Stitch by Long Dog Samplers. And in the last month since you've seen it, I finished page six and page seven and all that's left now is page eight which is right here and that will finish off the row that I'm working on and then there will only be four pages left and since you have seen it I added a dire wolf I recharted the middle section and put in a dire wolf I left the initials though so there's still the JF for my initials and then I added a bunch of other stuff around it so that it wasn't just like a big empty block with a dire wolf stuck in the middle so that is what I did on that I am stitching this on 18 count Ada, one over one full cross using Silks For You in PR094, I think, I'm pretty sure. And then I used a Sulky Metallic for the Dire Wolf, and I 
think it was a silky metallic. Pretty sure it was silky metallic for the direwolf. And then I used DMC metallics for the other animals. And here, like, this red is a DMC metallic. That's where I got to. I am hoping to finish this page this month before Mania because I still want to work on this during Mania, but I probably won't work on it as much because I got some other plans for Mania. Big plans. Huge. Okay, not huge, but still. Obviously, Mania, you normally start all the projects. People will start 30 projects, like a new project every day. People will start a new project every other day. I'm doing No Starts 2019 and I still have not started anything at all. I haven't really got tempted to start anything, luckily. If I got too tempted, I would probably just give in because I'm weak. I'm a weak person. Anyways, so I was watching Terry Lee Crafts videos and it was a video and I think it was like at the beginning of the year sometime and she talked about mania and she was talking about working on one of her heaven and earth designs charts and just starting a new page like every day every other day in may and i liked that idea i have heaven and earth design charts normally i just work on one page at a time before i move on but it's like that would be cool I'll just start pages everywhere in one chart so that is my plan is i'm not giving myself like a super crazy goal of like a new page every day because I don't usually even stitch every day so if I miss a day I don't want to be like having to do multiple pages in a day and so my plan is first the chart that I picked I picked Tarot Town 2 by Cyril Marchetti and I picked it because it's my oldest heaven and earth design chart so I was like let's pull out the oldest try and do something on that it'll be fun it'll be great and I'm stitching this on 22 count hardanger, two over one full cross, which is really thick. I do not recommend 22 count, two over one. Don't do it. Don't do it. So this is where I am on it. And my plan is for this chart is there are two pages here in this row. So I plan on starting those two pages and then going down the left side there are six more pages until you get to the bottom so my plan is to start the two pages in that row and then to start the six pages going down and to try and start working on eight pages in may and my plan hopefully is because i'll have a little bit more time like a couple days for each page so i'm hoping that i'll be able to like find a color that goes mostly down a page and then work my way down a page in a color or something and then be able to actually stitch onto the next page so I'm not counting to a page. So that is my mania plans. Try and do at least eight pages on Tarot Town 2 and that means I'm gonna have to grid this fabric. Oh I don't know what that was. Try and grid this fabric in April because I'm using a pen to grid this so that I can start May 1st. I'm excited. Here, buy it. Okay. Anyways. Oh, there's the back of my fabric. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that is my plans for Mania. My plans for April is to just work on Death by Cross Stitch and get as much done as I can on that. We have a visitor. It's Shay. And I think that's all I have to talk about. So I will see everyone in my next video. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Bye.